Praise be Jesus Christ, our Lord Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice. How do you hear God's still small voice in your heart? How can you be like Samuel and say, speak Lord, your servant is listening and actually hear him? How can you obey God's commandment to listen to him, to hear his voice? I'm going to teach you the simplest, the easiest way to hear God's wonderful, beautiful voice in the silence of your heart. Now, Psalm 100 says, enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. We're commanded to thank the Lord. Paul says, rejoice, always pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances. So you want to hear God's voice when you begin your prayer time? Begin by calming down, recollecting yourself recognizing you're in the Lord's presence, and then thank the Lord for three things in your life. St. Paul says, we don't know how to pray as we ought. The Spirit teaches us. When you make an attempt to thank the Lord for three things in your life, the Lord with his Spirit will come, and he will help you to see to realize things in your life that you really should be grateful for. You'll remember. You'll remember, wait a minute, yesterday I got to speak to, to that person I hadn't seen for a while. What a wonderful blessing to see that person, to be with that person, to speak with that person. The Spirit reminded you of how good it was to speak to that person. Now you'll think, oh, and yesterday, wow, that salad I had was so delicious. Fresh vegetables uh, from, from local gardeners. I'm so grateful. The Spirit's showing you. Another thing that you, you can be grateful for. Then you'll, then you'll remember that, wow, you know, yesterday I wasn't in a lot of pain. Usually my back is aching a bit or my shoulder's aching. But yesterday I was feeling pretty good. And you'll thank the Lord. You see what's happening? The Spirit is helping your spirit to see, to know, to remember what the Lord is doing in your life, how He's blessing you. And this is a grace. And this grace comes with a distinctive peace. As you get into the habit of daily giving thanks to the Lord for His blessings in your life, which you must do. This is a biblical command. You must regularly, daily give thanks to the Lord as you do this. And with a sincere, humble, and open heart, you will recognize that distinctive peace that comes day after day in your prayer time. And you'll recognize it's, it's His Spirit. It's His presence. It's God's love coming to me. It's His peace. It's His voice speaking in my heart, and then you'll be able to apply this to so many other areas in your life or times in your life when you're trying to, to seek God's word, to, to hear his voice. So may the Lord bless you now and give you a special grace even today to hear his voice. May his spirit come upon you in a fresh and a new way and give you ears to hear and an open heart to receive his word. And may Almighty God bless you now, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Viva Cristo Rey.